All right, everyone, so you want to fix an overjet or an overbite. Your maxilla, basically, is bigger than your mandible. Your maxilla is here, your mandible is back in your throat, and it's weak and ugly looking, and you can't breathe. So you want to fix it. Well, guess what? All your options for fixing it kind of suck. First shitty option is extractions. This is probably the most popular option. If you were to go see, you know, the orthodontist on the corner and you presented with this situation in which your upper was bigger than your lower, what that orthodontist is going to want to do is he's going to want to pull two teeth from the upper, create gaps, and then suck your front teeth backwards to close the gap between your upper and your lower. That's called extraction and retraction. And uh, <laughs> it's happened to me in my, you know, as a child, and it's probably happened to a lot of you and that really sucks because when you do that, you make your oral volume less, makes it harder to get your tongue up, you make your airway less, and you make your whole lower third of your face smaller. Basically, you lower your maxilla to the level of your mandible. Your mandible was shitty, and now you made your maxilla shitty so that instead of both of them being different, now they're just both shitty together. They're both smaller. Don't do that, okay? Don't do that. Option number two. This option is actually half decent, but good luck finding someone to actually do it. SFOT, also known as Wilkodontics plus Invisalign. This is a toothborne approach to correcting this problem. So instead of extracting two teeth on the upper and pulling the upper front teeth back, what you're going to be doing is you're going to do an SFOT procedure, a type of bone graft on the lower, and you're going to move lower teeth forward and you're going to add implants on the lower. Not a terrible option. I just don't know if you're going to find anyone willing to do that for you. Option number three and four you could consider our sister options because these are the distraction osteogenesis options. I've got bad news for you folks. The mandible is not made out of clay. <laughs> it's bone, stupid. It's fucking bone. It's hard. It doesn't stretch. You can't massage it bigger. You can't pull it bigger. If you want to make it bigger, you got to treat it like a rock. You got to cut it. Brace it forward and then your body will deposit new bone just like if you snapped your leg in half the body will deposit bone to heal that break called distraction osteogenesis. So your two options for this are BSSO, link in the description above, and IMDO, also link in the description above. Did I say that wrong? Link in the description above. Basically what these surgeries involve, and yes, you will need an oral surgeon for this, an orthonathic surgeon, you've got to cut the mandible in two places. Boom and boom. Then you install a little distractor, which is a little MSE type appliance, which you adjust. And it, every time you adjust it, it stretches, it, 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 it expands the mandible forward at the crack. You expand forward until your lower is even with your upper, and then you brace it there for a few months while the bone fills in. The difference between BSSO and IMDO is that the IMDO is designed slightly differently, and I'm not an expert, and I honestly had a hard time finding the images, but it's similar to BSSO, but different, in that for whatever reason, the IMDO also adds an element of widening, of widening the mandible, which is good. Bigger is better, okay? So, um, I'm sorry for anyone who's dealing with this. There's really no great option don't get the extractions and the retraction. Go for the expansion of the lower through the SFOT plus Invisalign or the BSSO or the IMDO or, and this is the last option, there's just straight up double jaw surgery, BIMAX surgery, in which you move the upper and the lower jaw forward together. This is also a type of distraction osteogenesis in which you're cutting bone, bracing it forward, while bone then fills in over the course of several months. Except with double jaw surgery, um, you're also getting an increase in the length of your maxilla and an upswing of both.
that, that counterclockwise rotation that we all want so badly. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, surgical intervention is going to be necessary for this unless you want to chuck two upper premolars and suck your whole face back. Um, but that's no fun. So, all right, everyone, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, let me know what else. Be easy. Peace.